Hello everybody. Well, I figured I'd get into this. This is, we don't need, this is just the antenna. I did the unboxing, you can check it out. Um, <clears throat> figured since this box had damage, I would open this up on video and install the CPU. And the, we got the CPU, the Ryzen, we have memory, we have an SSD. And I just want to make sure that this board and socket's all good and do it on video. It has not been opened. So we're going to break this seal right now. There it is. I own it. Um, I'm not that big of an MSI fan, but uh, look at that. I've had an MSI board in eons, but we will uh, open that up and take a peek. Make sure the socket's good from the factory. You never know. I heard some horror stories, but some of those you have to take with a grain of salt. But it looks like uh, board might have been slated for something else. And it's got a sticker or the model number. So I wonder what that is. I wonder if they use the same board for different different names or something. So let's grab some RPA. Yeah, I was going to put a 7950X in this, but I decided I was going to use the 7950X in my daily driver. The streaming PC is going to get a 7900X. So the 7950X is in my daily driver. That's where I do my editing. Um, I don't think having a uh, I'm just using IPA to clean the CPU. Um, I don't think having an extra couple cores in the streaming PC is going to be helpful. So it was a decision I had to make. Um, and that decision I think is going to be a good one. This CPU's got a little dust on it. Yeah, so it ended up being a chore doing my, doing the CPU swap on my other computer. Okay, that's all clean now. Probably go a little bit better on that. That's where a lot of people mess up as they get fingerprints on their pads and the oils of your fingerprints can have some degrading properties over the years. So 
Just a little, just a little IPA real light. Clean that up. This is going to go. Just double check, make sure it's fully seated. That looks good. We're on. Yeah, these are what's a CPU is on the board. AM five. That's pretty boring, but this is it is what it is, you know. Okay. Now, we need to put the SSD in. Now, I was told I might have to update the BIOS ahead of time to be compatible with the 990 here, to be compatible with the 990, but uh, hopefully this is a new, newer board and we won't have to do that. Ooh, I'm not opening that on the camera. I, I just don't, I'm not going to do a complete build here, but oop, oop, there it is. Interesting packing, Samsung. Mm, I pack, I pack. One terabyte. That's all I need. Looks like it might have had option for two terabyte. Wonder if anybody's ever thrown additional on there and see if it'll work. Okay, figure out where that should go. Had to get it right in there. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on that there. Yeah, to get it just perfect. But uh, I don't know. The sticker was gonna transfer the heat. <clears throat> Might. Don't know. But I like not being able to, you know, you don't have to have tools anymore to do. Wonder if you need to pull the stickers off, but probably not. Okay, there it is. We have SSD and computers nowadays compared to, you know, years past. That's, it's crazy. Um, I think we uh, go this slot and this slot first. DMA2, DMA2, right here. So, okay. At least they put it on the board here so you don't have to go fumbling through a book or looking up PDFs. And, okay, so we've got one sticker RAM. Second sticker RAM. In, short in that way. It's 
So this is 64 gig. These are both 32 gig. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, I got a lot more work to do. I gotta put, I gotta put this in a case and I've got the power supply and I don't really care to have to reload windows, but I'm gonna start with a fresh copy. And I'm not gonna put the cooler on yet, but the cooler is right here. And hopefully I'll be streaming here with this thing in the next uh, couple days. So, catch y'all later.